What up, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we got one of the unsung stars of the game because a lot of you already know what's up with it. There's also a bunch of people that don't. This one was sent over by the homies from infamyart.com. The Toy Killer Silver. This oil based silver paint comes in a four ounce glass bottle with a Griffin style shoe dauber slash marker. But hey, let's not talk about it. Let's just be about it. I will be putting this into the body of a pump action marker, but I won't be doing that today because I'm going to be saving that for another video about the PX30. But right now we're going to pour it into this to get some silver mop drips. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Jake's B. If you really want to get the most out of this silver, then it's a good idea to put it into a mop like this. Because you really don't want to be mopping around with this big ass glass bottle in your pocket. There's another reason why it's not the best on the go marker. It's very messy. The silver needs to be shaken up first. Then you got to let it settle for a bit or this lid's going to drip everywhere. When pouring from large to small container, use the large threading to lean on the small container so it's less likely to move or slide around. You're going to want the large container to hang over almost halfway, then just commit to it. There you go, a little bit of mess, but that's a lot better than all the way down the side of the mop.
So the toy killer is a badass silver. And this dauber is a beast of a marker that writes on almost anything. The only thing is the potential for mess if you don't let the paint settle after shaking it. The silver needs to be shaken up first. Then you gotta let it settle for a bit or this lid's gonna drip everywhere. Even if you take the time to get most of the paint off of the dauber by squeezing it out, it's not really gonna matter. If you don't let that paint settle, you're gonna have a bunch of that silver up in this part of the lid. And as soon as you turn the cap sideways, all that paint's gonna gather up and when you start writing, it's gonna start dripping all over and it's for sure gonna get on your hand. But if you are gonna keep this beast on you, it's best to keep it in your bag and just wait until you see the right spot to hit. And in that case, you're gonna need some protection. So for that, I tend to use a sock or two. These are kids socks that my kid grew out of, so they work perfect. Then you're just gonna wanna wrap it up. Wrap it nice and tight under the neck. And when you get that second sock, just make it even more tight, cause you're gonna need it. It's gonna trip for sure. And there you go, homie, ready for war. But we still got a whole bunch of this silver left in here, so we're not done messing with it yet. But wait, there's more. Jake's B e e e e e. I'm not sure if y'all know how to open this one up, so I'll give you a fast rundown. First, let me make sure it's on tight. It's pretty easy. You're just gonna wanna pull on one side until you get a little bit of a gap, just enough to get your fingernail underneath. Then just give that a pull. It might feel like you didn't do very much, but then you flip it on the other side, do it again, then go back on the first side. By like the third or fourth time, you're gonna feel the air pressure release from the Presto. Then you can just pull it straight up and off. Depending on what you're putting in here, you might have to clean out the body and clean off the mixing rod. But this silver could have just went right on top of the white off fluid with no problem. I'll be using this slow ass pipette from a Pilot Black Refill. But sometimes if the hole on the funnel is too small, then the paint builds up or doesn't want to go through good. And sometimes you end up spilling or overfilling the marker. And I definitely don't feel like dealing with that bullshit. So I'll just speed past that part. Close the press though, you're gonna wanna hold the sides while trying not to squeeze the paint up. Just press until you feel a snap and you'll know you got it when you see that there's no gap between.
to self-destruct. Experience the terrifying power. You pray it will end, and it will. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.